welcome everybody. So Coral Gold Snapshot, our primary assets are, well, all our assets are in Nevada, North Central Nevada. Um, our primary asset is a sliding scale royalty with um, Barrick and Newmont. And we have three other little projects nearby that we're, uh, we're just starting some exploration on. So we got a strong balance sheet, 14 million cash in the bank, uh, 29 cents a share in cash, trading around 41 cents right now. So it's not putting a lot of value on that royalty yet um, because the economics aren't, aren't published yet. Barrick's working on a um, uh, pre-feasibility study that's estimated to come out next year. Um, they're working on permitting. Uh, there was a little bit of a delay this year because they um, uh, had a joint venture with Newmont, as you all know, and so uh, their mining team is working on it now. They've put in about 150 holes since they acquired the property in uh, 2017. And w prior to them acquiring it, we had 2.7 million ounces um, inferred. And uh, this is near surface oxide type material that can be heat bleached. Prime locations in Nevada, proven management team with 150 years of combined experience. Um, and one thing that's unique about our company is we're doing the opposite of everyone, all the other companies here is we're shrinking our float. We've got a normal course issuer bid happening and we've retired about 5 million shares since we made this deal with Barrick. And so we're, why we're doing that is we feel the stock is undervalued. And when the pre-feasibility comes out, there's going to be less resistance to the upside when that information come, goes public. Nevada, world-class area. Um, I'm sure I don't have to go through all this with you guys, but uh, it's fourth in the world outside of Australia, China, South Africa. State of Nevada alone um, produces over $8 billion worth of gold last year. Location. So here you got the Carlin trend and the Battle Mountain trend. 128 million ounces of gold combined uh, to date. We're down below here. You can see the Robertson in red, the Eagle, JDN, enormous SAS claims. Those are all ours. Here you can see an overhead shot. So the blue area is our ground. It's about uh, 5,000 hectares. Um, the 2.7 million ounces is in the middle part of that. Um, that amount of ground uh, is surrounded in yellow. You can see that's all Newmont and Barrick um, ground, over half a million acres. Combined, this land package has over 50 million ounces of gold. And so the Cortez region, um, the pipeline, Cortez Hills and Gold Rush make up the largest Carlin type gold deposits in the world. Um, they have 50 million ounces there. The pipeline mine, which you can see the picture there, produces a million ounces of gold annually. This was the jewel in Placer Dome's crown. This is why Barrick paid $6 billion to acquire them. In 1997, when that mine came into production, it was the lowest cost producing mine in the world, produced a million ounces of gold at $38 an ounce. So it, it paid for its capex in the first year. It's been producing a million ounces of gold annually for the last over 20 years. And right now it's producing at $649 all in sustaining. And with the addition of Robertson, we're expecting this number could drop because our gold is near the surface, so it's low cost mining. The transaction we did in 2017, um, they returned eight, uh, just under 9% of our stock, so it increased the value. We got a sliding scale royalty. Uh, this is similar to what Royal Gold did. Royal Gold incidentally started on the property next door 20 years ago as a penny stock on less ground than what we have. And today they're the largest royalty company on the world, in the world. And the unique thing about them is, and the, the large uh, cap royalty companies, is they're yield driven, they pay dividends, on depleting assets, so they need to find replacement uh, royalties. This is uncapped with the world's two largest gold mining companies on the planet with their number one tier one mine in Nevada. Um, and we also forced them to pay us half a million dollars a year for, for 10 years, starting in 2025, if they don't have the mine up and running by that time. 
But because Pipeline and Cortez is such a big mouth to feed, uh, we think that they'll have it up and running uh, within the next couple of years. Here's the sliding scale royalty. So at 1,200, uh, it starts at 1%. So right now we're at about 1.5%. Uh, um, and if uh, gold goes to 2,000, we go to 2.25%. Advanced stage, as I mentioned, we spent over uh, $25 million. We started 30 years ago. Um, put a lot of drilling into it, uh, a lot of information that they've been running through their mind models and um, preparing for permits. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Cortez is a tier one mine. So what Barrick has said that um, tier one mines produce half a million ounces or more. And so um, this is their number one asset in the world, and we're very, very excited about what they're going to do with it going forward. And so what they've been focusing on, uh, they've done 150 uh, drill holes in the last, since we acqu they acquired the property in Q4 2017, but they've been doing uh, base model study, baseline studies, heap leach studies, uh, studying the migratory habits of all the rodents and everything there, doing an EIS, a plan of operation, all the ingredients to put the mine into production. And so pre-feasibility study, plan of operation, environmental impact statement, all at the same time. No junior could do this in the, as fast as them. They've got a mining team that's working on it. Um, and because uh, coral management owns 30%, it's unlikely there'll be a hostile takeover. And um, so we're, we're, uh, we're, we're excited about the price appreciation that's going to happen once this uh, pre-feasibility study is, is public. And as Jay mentioned, the deeper uh, targets haven't been touched. So the, this gold did not fall out of the sky. It came from the core of the earth. And it's part of a giant gold field that supplied the ore to Pipeline and Cortez mines. So there's a lot of potential there. And here you can see, so our 2.7 million ounces is um, about from surface down to four to 500 feet. We drilled 1,160 holes, over half a million feet of drilling, um, and still the potential for deeper high grades uh, mines is at depth. And what they mentioned to me is they, they want to find uh, similar to the Miko mine. Miko mine is the largest underground mine in the world. It produces over half a million ounces of gold a year. And it's the feeder zone to the nearby gold strike mine. So this is what they think the potential is below our property. And here's the numbers, 2.7 million ounces. And, and that was before they started drilling. Uh, just running out of time here. So, um, so we have 47 uh, million shares outstanding and shrinking, fully diluted, 50 million, um, 14 million cash, and being followed by Jay Taylor and Brian London. You can see our uh, share price has been going up because people are anticipating this PFS uh, um, in the not too dear distant future. Um, in 2020, we'll certainly get it. And if you want to think about what the value of this could be, uh, you can you could look at the Cisco royalties paid $98 million last year to buy a royalty on the Victoria mine in the Yukon. And the pipeline Cortez mine is five times bigger. So there's a lot of potential there. And with that, I'll end the presentation. Thank you.